no pressure, but mama is running late. Can you believe that? So we had our end of the homeschool group year picnic. Got big boys climbing around. Do I need to shut the back? Okay. Anyway, my Azure order for this month apparently is on time. There's been no delays. It was all good, all good in the hood. And so we came home, we dropped off a bunch of our crew. My other hold up this month is my big van is still in the shop. So hopefully, maybe next week at some point I'm getting it back, I don't know. Um, anywho, I have a lot of my plants in this order and I can't fit it all here in this minivan. So I can barely fit these big boys in this minivan. So anyway, I've got uh, about $500 in Azure stuff food-wise, and then my plant order is about another $500. It just all adds up. And Travis is gonna bring his truck and follow us. Just wanted to let you all know real quick that my special large family table community membership is finally open. The first time in 2022, so many of you have been messaging me and asking me and emailing and just wanting to know when in the world you can join the special exclusive large family table community membership and the time is now. It is open for an incredible savings for a limited time. You just click that first link in the description below. Yay. Anyway, we're putting half of that order in his truck because I think that's what we're going to need to do. And then I need to go raid Costco because it's graduation weekend here. We have a lot of family coming in and I am getting a lot of Costco things to also make my life easier for this weekend. And there's Travis racing by looking at me. Okay, so anyway, come along for the adventure. Let's see how it all works out. So you have a sign of a good friend. If all my stuff is in the parking lot, the driver was gonna put all my stuff back on and take it. He said he couldn't leave it, but one of my friends sat here for 10 minutes until I got here. I let everyone know that I possibly could, but anyway, let me show you what an Azure order looks like sitting in the middle of a church parking lot. Okay, so here we go. Now, again, I knew I had a lot of plants. I wasn't, I was expecting plants in like greenhouse containers, but look at this. They put, they packed them in boxes. That's cool. I'm excited about that. So I was picturing all these plant containers and that's why um, I had Travis bring his truck. But look at this, I can see my Brussels sprouts. These are like to eat. <laughs> um, and let's see, we got some potatoes there. But yeah, a whole lot of this is plants. And then some of this is like frozen strawberries and blueberries. Uh, we're gonna do jams and different, different fun projects. Got some uh, refill of sweet potatoes and apples. I'll do the whole haul at home, but anyway, just wanted to show you again. This is what friends help protect. So anyway, a bunch of this is going in the truck and Travis is gonna go ahead and take that home so we can have the little baby van here for Costco, except I said, oh wait, maybe the lilies need to go in my van, ha ha. This is the uh, lilies peanut butter cup. There we go. Big strong boys loading the truck. <laughs> I'm like, do you want to wrap for Father's Day? <laughs> Alrighty, so we've got everything in the back of the truck now. Travis is going to go home and we are going to get uh, Costco stuff. What you doing? I'm looking at the Google map. <laughs> okay, we so go. we are at Costco. We are looking at Somebody things. Okay, so many neat outdoor things. Oh, that's a really neat looking chair. Sit in the chair, Liam. Nice big rocking chair. Oh, this is way too far. You're good, you're good. That's a neat chair. How's it fold up? There you go. Demonstrate it. This is Meatballs. This is nice. <laughs> Meatballs. This okay, is oh my. Okay, so there's some nice metal chairs for 29. 
Nice outdoor swing. Something we don't need, more fire. It's a... We catch. Lots of outdoor chairs. This is gonna be a slightly obnoxious Costco haul. I have early teens with me trying to turn things on. I must visit all the all the garden things, okay? Okay. A little, a wind spinner. We've got those. We're gonna fill them tomorrow. Got them built. Some raised bed kits. Some brown edge, some landscape edging. The grow bags. Do you all know where all my grow bags are? No. You told me to put them in the basement, and, it, and then one day Daddy told me to go get them, but I couldn't find them. They're okay. not where I put them. Okay. They're in the basement. <laughs> okay, so my boys are trying to lock themselves in this shed, but I'm wearing this hat. It's $11, and I, I think I need it. It's be my garden hat. So do you approve? Was it nice in there? Nice fit? Yes. Nice fit? Okay. You can put um, well, we have some nice, so these are $4.69. We have those nice sheds out back, but this is, yeah. this is, feels like a good Let's go visit kitchen stuff. Yay, I want to cook the pies and the eggs and the teapots. I, I hear you, I hear you. Or cook tea, oh, not pretty. shopping. So here are more of the towers. Like I've got, there's a nice little cart. Ooh, more organizing things. This seems helpful. So I'm just thinking future giant refrigerator thoughts. I'm gonna get two sets of these. They're just gonna sit in the box, but I mean we're we're getting close on things. I might need more. Uh, I'm not doing the whole refrigerator in it though, but some things. Some things this will be helpful, like Gogurt, you know. Well, they got like lake stuff down here. Let's psychoanalyze the goggles situation down here because they got a bunch of them. I still they have goggles, nose, but they though. kind of are starting to get holes in. Okay, stuff. so these are a good brand. For These look like adult size. They're $11.99. It's, Gabriel, will you be okay with these if they don't cover your nose? Or do you want the kind that cover your nose? I, lo I prefer the kind that covers your nose. Okay. okay. So I don't have to hold my nose every time I go okay, down. Okay, I'm gonna get this just to have. Now this is fun, complete camp kit, mosquito repellent, Aww. chairs. Well, that's a convenient little thin table. One gallon jugs, okay. So many fun summer stuff. Alrighty, we've already graduated to two carts because Mama's been finding lake stuff too. So we found some snorkel sets. So I guess I'm not gonna get these. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Can you go put this back for me? Where, I where? found these um, little buckets. I'm getting one for Daniel and one for Benny to be lake ready. And then bigger kids are getting snorkel sets with the flippers and such. Get us a bag of those just because it's big and it's a decent price. And then get a bag of um, Skinny Pop, throw that on in. Okay. Skinny Pop, wait, skinny. is it healthy? <laughs> that way? Okay, get a thing of veggie straws for us. Just put that in Liam's cart, that's fine. And then these are on sale for $4.39, so put that in his cart, we'll get some kind of dip. So they've got gluten-free bread here for $6.99, and then they've got the Dave's Killer Bread, which I love the story of for, um, $8.89. So here's how graduation uh, mom's weekend convenience cart is looking. Okay, so $2.29 a pound here. They do have chicken breast. It's $2.99 a pound. Okay, produce time. Oh boy, strawberries. Yeah, we were talking about how they made cotton candy grapes. Okay, still on the hunt for things. Also celebrating with more toilet paper. Okay, yep, so just put the meatballs in my cart, honey. Thank you, Liam. We were eating our sandwich. So many yummy things. Nope. I don't think we have room for that 40 count, do we? We probably don't. Okay. Wah, wah, wah. We got lots of other stuff happening. Here's a smaller one. That's so small, it's sad.
Gabriel just said, we might need a third card. I said, no, we do not. We will leave here with two cards. We can do it. Okay, so here's our one card. And then this is our second cart already unloaded here. Alrighty, so all these boxes say boardwalk fries, but it is not true. They are plants. So we are gonna go get these, see the little plants in there? We're gonna go get these set over in our soon to be plant area. And uh, we'll probably, we'll probably cut the tops of these open so they can start getting some air. And uh, it's gonna be 90 tomorrow. It's in the 80s now, so uh, they're probably getting used to the temperature. They've been in a refrigerated truck, but they've been out now in Travis's truck for a couple hours. That's uh, the best I can offer them. Okay, so he's gonna pull these six and I'm gonna carry these two, seems fair to me. So this is one box I just opened and it had fallen. So I just uh, picked everything up, dirt on my fingers, got it, we'll sit back up, everything's nice and wet. So when I mentioned that it's gonna be 90 tomorrow and actually 95 on Saturday, that's not our normal May weather. Again, two weeks ago it was freezing, so hello Virginia. Um, next week it'll be back in the 70s and 80s, but we just, you know, picked a winning time to have our gardening day. Okay, so these are tomatoes and marigolds together. Okay, and in this one we've got, what are you? We've got broccoli. We've got different peppers. Cabbage, lettuce. Plant these in the shade, celery. Over here, we've got butternut, acorn, acorn, sweet pea, pumpkins, thyme, Atlantic giant pumpkin. Whew, and here we got a scrambled box. Whoopsie. We did have a few that we loaded in the truck, truck upside down. And, uh, Anyway, we see what happened, so this is not their fault. This is our fault. Travis caught it, though, and we were flipping them, but okay. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Those turned out well. Here we go. So many good things. And then our other idea was that all these boxes we can take and finish our potato patch area. Probably help us with that. <laughs> They're pretty. And so tomorrow is gonna be our big filling up the um, raised beds here with the raised bed dirt and getting this stuff in the ground. And Liam just took a few more boxes that I'm up here now hauling stuff in, but a few more plant boxes down for me. We'll have a gardening video coming out soon. Well friends, future Jay Morrell just breaking in here real quick for you. As I mentioned earlier in the video, Large Family Table Community Membership is now open. Just click the first link in the description below and head over to largefamilytablecommunity.com. Now in membership, you get super cool fun, and that's my potatoes. So anyway, in membership, you get special exclusive videos with me. I do member requested videos, we do recipe videos, we do Q&A videos. There's over two and a half years of videos, super mega lots, exclusive videos with me. You also get a chatty monthly live call with me. There always ends up being bonuses. There's special guests. I have a Ninja Mom expert in some category come every month. Like last month, we had how to entertain without losing your mind. We've also had canning. We've had chicken care. We've done freezer meals. We're actually in the middle of doing our second ever four-week gentle freezer cooking challenge. 
so much is going on in there. So I'm inviting you now to click the first link in the description below. You'll be able to read through every detail of everything that you get over in my special membership. Basically think of it like Patreon only. It's not through Patreon and you get one of my products every month and tons of fun, good times with me. Just click the first link in the description below to read all the details, but just again, I'm sending up the smoke signals. I'm shaking the, the lily bars here because I'm getting ready to put those away. Anyway, and join me over in Large Family Table Community Membership now, yay! Massive Large Family Grocery Shopping Hall. I think this qualifies. So as I mentioned, I believe earlier in this video, we have a big homeschool high school graduation this weekend. We have family coming in from out of town. We have some family staying with us. We'll be having a dinner tomorrow night with 20 or so people. No, not tomorrow night, day after tomorrow. You know, breakfast, lunch, dinners. We are having dinner the evening of the graduation that will be there, that is being catered. But anyway, whole lot, a lot of several days of mega massive large family food going down at my house in a lot of different forms. Now tomorrow, tomorrow I've been planning it for weeks based on when these plants would get here and when Travis would have his truck back and the alignment of the sun and the moon and the stars. So tomorrow is the last day before the graduation three or four day weekend explodes. It's been on my list. I'm gonna garden tomorrow. I'm getting plants in the ground. I'm doing all my, I'm getting a new outdoor rug out here on this back pat, on this back porch. I'm doing things. I could spend all day tomorrow cooking up a storm for all the company and the whole weekend. But you know what? Hey, Jay Morrell, how do you do all these things? How do you spend all that time in the kitchen? How do you cook all this super mega food all the time? Well, I'm not doing it this weekend, okay? <laughs> I'm, I'm not. This is graduation celebration, and this is also mama. Mama's gonna uh, just put some Costco mac and cheese in the oven as well. So yes and amen. And then there's some more items from my Azure order that'll obviously spread over several weeks. This Costco stuff, I don't know. That's the thing when you're feeding a lot of people. I don't know if this is gonna be gone in three days with all the people that'll be in and out, or if this is gonna, some of it's gonna be around for another week or two. That's the thing you don't always know. That's why I always do mega lots, okay? So let's have a look at what I got, and let's start with some things that we cannot eat. Alrighty, so hopes and dreams. I've mentioned the weather. We have the robot vacuum thing in the pool. Travis has been working on this pool all week. The pool's about to open. So I saw uh, my two, two boys that were with me, their eyes lit up when they saw these snorkel sets. And usually every summer, I will get everyone a good pair of goggles, a good snorkel, kind of get them set up for the summer. I only buy it once, okay? <laughs> so that's it, mama will buy it once. You got to take care of it. Of course, things get lost, things get borrowed, things, you know, sink to the bottom of the lake. Those kind of adventures happen or get taken down the river. But anyway, this is my happy sunshine summer gift. And then after that, they can take their own money and, you know, buy another set of goggles or whatever. So for Naomi and Gabriel and Liam, I got all three of them these large and extra large sets. These were $36. It's a snorkel set. And they got, let's see, the, the fins. I was looking for the proper name. And they've got the snorkel and they've got the mask. And then for Amelia, so these are adult size. I'm hoping that it fits though because the kid size just look too little. Um, I got her the small medium set. Again, hopefully with adjusting the shoes and everything, it works out. I got myself my mama sun hat for the summer. All the comments, I hear them already. Do you ever take the hat off? And my answer is no, <laughs> I'm invested in the hat. So then for Daniel and Benjamin, I got them these just super mega fun. Let me find the tag here. Let's roll around the floor. 18 piece bucket play set, beach fun, park fun. So we have a shovel. Look, we got the little whale digger, all kinds of scoops, a little uh, factory, little sand factory, we call them, different molds. Each of them got their own. And there you go. Happy summer, boys. Happy summer. 
So those are some non-food items. Other non-food items, I got this thermometer. I don't know, tell me if this melts your brain or not, okay? I have one thermometer that kind of scans the head, but sometimes it takes, it takes a couple tries for it to work and I just end up taking, using a standard thermometer and doing an axillary temperature. Uh, hello, nursing brain. So anyway, got a thing of tissues and then I got so these are small bowls, but we will also end up with small leftovers, small little meal prep. These are so pretty. I feel like, we'll get my receipt out, but I feel like they were, um, I don't know, around $10. And they feel like they're glass, microwavable bowls with lids. I got two sets of them. I have no room for them right now in my cabinets, okay? but I want them. And the kitchen is a coming. So this is my happy kitchen thoughts. Another thing of toilet paper. And then I got these two um, kitchen and pantry storage bins. I'm sure I need all kinds of storage bins and configurations for the new Mega Mama uh, refrigerator, but I got two for now. So heart happy things. The end of the table all the way over so here's here's food things so i guess starting down here i was thinking one of our lunches this weekend i got these artisan rolls i got some turkey breast i have some roast beef and some cheese just thought sandwiches as an option i got two cheesecakes i have no idea when we will whip these out but i know that they will be eaten a variety of chips uh the boys had the dip and the tortilla chips they really liked so there you go here's the dip that we got um they really liked it so got three bags of tortilla chips we got some veggie straws these little pretzel crisp they like these with hummus so i got the hummus and the greek dip um these white cheddar poppables just for fun and then some skinny pop um two things of peppers Got this thing of country time. Don't know exactly who, what, when, where, why. I know we'll use it. And then just some of these quick and easy Costco things already done. I got two Caesar salads. So I thought, so Saturday night, we're having a bigger dinner here. Um, that will be at least 20. So I was thinking of those then. Because again, tomorrow, I'm spending all day in the garden. Got some Parmesan cheese for upcoming meals. And then uh, some macaroni and cheese to go with our Saturday night dinner. Some fruit to have around. Some cucumbers to have around. These I like for lunches. Uh, they don't have, they didn't have the broccoli and bacon that I absolutely love, but this has broccoli and squash and peppers and some oil and salt and everything already in it. And these are in individual packages, so it just makes for a nice mama lunch. Two things of meatballs, because Travis mentioned putting meatballs in a roaster, that would be easy. Um, also got two lasagnas, and then for um, some breakfast, so with the things of croissants, it's only 24, so it's 12 in each box. Um, also, I probably need to go to that side of the table to show you that. Okay, stop with the croissants there. So anyway, over here um, to have, I got some of this blend with monk, monk fruit sweetener. Some Truvia, I carry those in my purse. That cheese bread looked like fun, and even Gabriel said, hey, that looks good. So I got two of those, and each box has two cheese breads in it, so that would be four. So I might pair those with a lasagna and some fruit. On the other side of these Azure boxes, so I got myself some more light Laughing Cow cheese. Got those uh, cocktail beef franks. Again, those are just a side item with, to go along with some fruit whenever we've got a bunch of people here. The kids, again, have been loving doing the tortilla pizzas for themselves. And so even the boys said, hey, we need more tortillas. So that's for upcoming lunches, having nothing to do with this weekend. Also got the bagel bites and some hot pockets to have a round. Also gonna try these real good brand meals here. These are on the lower carb side of life. And then over there, there's, um, let's see, can I reach, see this is where I was like, I need to be on the other side of the table. So those are egg witch. It's um, two round eggs with cheese and sausage in the middle. Got one box of those. And then also sticking on my Costco topic, I got, uh, see those strawberries were mm, uh, maybe $5.29 or so a pound. I mean, they were a good price. 
So I got, okay, I did my tired mom brain math. I got 24 pounds of strawberries. But I tell you, like, my family rips through strawberries. Like, they're nothing. Okay, here we got meat. I got two packs of pork and two packs of steak. That is so Travis can grill on Saturday as well. And this is, that's my Costco order. Now, again, Costco, deep and wide, some non-food things, a lot of convenience foods and specialty foods and fun foods for tons of family and graduation weekend fun and summer treats. So my Costco total was over $1,100. Okay, so those four packs of the decorative uh, microwavable bowls and storage bowls, those were $9.97 each. The organization bins were $19.99 each. Um, all four of those snorkels, okay, it says they were $39.99 each. They came to $159. Looks like they had something that they took off. Oh, I just, they charged me for two Kleenexes, but then they took it off. Okay, so we're going down, we're going down, we're going down. Lots of stuff, all the stuff, all the stuff. Oh, I got two shrimp cocktail sets also, and I put those in the refrigerator, so those are missing from the table as well. Okay, cucumbers, grapes, mac and cheese, dip, the pork chops, of course the meat's super expensive. Okay, pork chops, steak, real expensive for a lot of people. Uh, let's see here. We got the Caesar salad, the rolls. Okay, so it came to, after tax, $1,173.30. I will say, you can spend whatever's in your budget to spend. I know that is a whole lot. I know as more and more large families share their grocery budgets online, some folks spend that often just for one week. I usually don't spend this much for just one week. But again, high school graduations only come around and big family parties, it's not every day. So party, party, fun time for us, yay. And then down here for my Azure order, so you know over half my order was plants this go round. I opened up these boxes. So fresh veggie wise, we got broccoli. I got several bunches of broccoli. And yeah, I'd taken one of these out earlier. So just, you know, rural living, I'm always looking for some uh, bug insect repellent. So I thought we would, well, we're going to try buzz away and see how that works. Um, got a bag of lemons and then we got three cabbages and another bunch of broccoli. I may do some veggie trays this weekend or I might not. We shall see. Uh, then, this does not have to be used for the super mega family graduation weekend, of course. This is the stuff that will be going over several weeks. Um, Amelia has been needing some celery. She's got all kinds of, she likes ants on a log and all kinds of little fun treats with celery. So we got three bunches of celery, got a big thing of kiwi. And then under this celery is some more romaine. And then I got um, these coconut wraps to try and that's what is in those and then also now it's funny online when I looked at the box I thought these would be bigger uh, but I got two of these boxes I guess I could have looked at the ounces huh two I got the um, rosemary sourdough looks like I got two of the rosemary sourdough all righty I thought I got a different flavor as well to try both. It may be in another box or it may not. We shall see. Okay, and then up here, well, I guess I should go over here. So, um, yum. The boys and I had some of these on the way home, but these milk chocolate peanut butter cups, Lily's chocolate, they're just, they're a yummy mama treat, and they're individually wrapped. Okay, so I could, you know, just grab one when I'm walking out the door. Uh, then in here, come on box, work with me. They do a good job custom fitting these boxes. Okay, so I can finally get around to water glassing eggs. Last time, whenever I went to order the cow lime, the food grade 
from Azure. Last month they were out, so this month they were not. I got two bags of it. I can share with a friend, <laughs> but hopefully we can get to have enough eggs where I can store extra for winter. Okay, and then in here we have fresh Brussels sprouts. And then here we have 20 pounds of sweet potatoes. And then if I can scooch my box, and then here we have 20 pounds of Fiji apples. And then coming around the mountain some more. So I'm excited to try these. I like a lot of the Ezekiel bread um, options that are out there. And so these are Ezekiel bread hamburger buns, sprouted hamburger buns, so yay. I've never seen these like at Kroger or Walmart, I just or the health food store, I haven't seen these in my area. So it's definitely a fun Azure thing to try. I also got the Ezekiel bread hot dog buns, which are sprouted, and then several of these sprouted tortillas. That is what is in those here yeah so I got three of these as well and all of these I will just stick in the freezer that's how I keep those and then let me see here so then over here this is a box of 10 pounds of grapefruit yay grapefruit that one's okay and then this is a big old box of already um, chopped up frozen broccoli. I think it's a 30 pound box. Let me see here. 35 pounds of broccoli needs to go in the freezer. I'll probably rebag this one. We go through a lot of broccoli and I thought this would be a great option for us to try. Okay, and then in this 50 pound bag of potatoes, these are all bags of the um, golden potatoes and these are five pound bags so I got ten five pound bags and again we roll through potatoes quickly so friends this is my super mega my, my massive large family grocery shopping haul for this month we've got a whole lot going on here and a whole lot of fun party food for our fun party family time. So thank you so much for unboxing plants and picking up that Azure order and going to Costco and doing all the things. Real soon you'll see the videos of the garden going in and all the other fun adventures coming up. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you and I'll see you real soon with another brand new video. Bye bye. And uh, for bonus points, so we got all the groceries put away, still got this 35 pound box of broccoli. And so I am rebagging all of this broccoli into smaller bags. Only way I know to handle it because otherwise it's all in this big blue bag within that box. I'm not gonna use 35 pounds at one time, um, but I very well will use a bunch at one time. So anyway, I'm rebagging it into these um, gallon size bags and I'll probably do two at a time or so. Anyway, let's rebag it for like I say a little little bonus spin here.
And now I'm repackaging all this uh, Brussels sprouts that I got. Some different bags, just cause I don't have room to slide this box in my refrigerator. How many pounds of Brussels sprouts was this? 10 pounds. So a couple meals worth. I like to uh, roast these in the oven. But just using my hand and getting them in bags. So remember friends, right now for a limited time, join me over in my special exclusive membership at largefamilytablecommunity.com. Click the first link in the description below. Join me now. So many of you have been waiting and this is the first time membership is open in 2022. So for a limited time, join me over there and I'll see you real soon with another brand new video. Bye.